Okay, so we have the black shark for today with us today in the office and we're going to check out what's so good about it. And personally, I am very excited to unbox this phone because first of all, it doesn't have that flashy design that some gamers do not like, especially if you're someone who mainly uses your phone as a phone, not a gaming device. So it doesn't have any flashy RGB on it, but instead it has a pretty good premium kind of design and it's kind of first for a gaming phone. So let's check out the Black Shark 4 and let's do the unboxing right now. So this is not the official retail version of the Black Shark 4 as this is a unit that's passed over by Black Shark Malaysia for our review purposes. So let's just unbox this thing so the contents inside might be different from what you find in the local Malaysian version. All right, so on the top here, <laughs> there you go. That's all Chinese text right over here. And on the first box that we take out, there's the casing here. Now, one thing that I really like about the Black Shark 4 is that they do not offer a cheap TPU case, even though this case doesn't protect the phone entirely, but it definitely looks cool as a protection case. So if you want full protection, go get a separate case. Now, of course, over here, you do get a couple of uh, stuff like the stickers, the Black Shark 4 stickers, which is obviously inspired by someone else. And you get some manuals in Chinese. Of course, this is not the Malaysian retail unit. All right, so here we go. This is the phone and there's another leaflet here that tells you the features of the phone. This is how it looks like. And what's crazy about the Black Shark 4 is that it comes with a 120 watt charging brick. No other phones, not even the Xiaomi Mi 11 comes with this power brick. You gotta purchase this separately. And you know, it's great that they included this brick. And you know what? I think they're using a proprietary technology here. It's not PD at all because uh, it uses a standard full-size USB-A port. So there must be a chipset that is inside this charger that controls the charging voltage. And you have to use this cable, of course, to charge it because it's a, uh, a recommended cable in order to reach that uh, maximum charging speed. So like I said earlier, the Black Shark 4 features a simpler and discreet design that doesn't feel flashy at all, but you still get this nice X holographic design, which Black Shark calls it a signature X design here, which I think it looks pretty nice because it shows how unique the phone's design really is. So there's the Black Shark logo right over here that no longer lights up anymore. Um, Personally, I would still prefer if it lights up if it is a gaming phone because you know what? Gaming phones are supposed to be cool, right? But no matter, it's still cool nonetheless. So you get a triple camera system on the back right over here. The main lens is a 64 megapixel sensor assisted by an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel macro lens. If you like to take macro pictures. Overall, the build quality of the phone feels pretty great. It's a glass and aluminum design language. Uh, you do see some curves and chamfers right over here, like uh, some other phones out there. Um, it doesn't have an in-screen fingerprint reader, but instead it uses a side-mounted fingerprint reader uh, that is embedded into the power button, which is a design that I really like. And this display is actually pretty good. It's a 6.67 inch full HD plus display uh, with a 144 Hertz refresh rate and a 720 Hertz sample rate. So that's actually pretty responsive. As you can see, as soon as I put my fingers on it and start swiping, it just feels very responsive and it's very small. So it has those speakers, which is one is at on the top and the other one is at the bottom right over here. And guess what guys, it still comes with a headphone jack, which is pretty important for gamers because not every gamers like to use Bluetooth earphones because they have a latency in games that not everybody likes. Now, one thing that I'm very impressed with the Black Shark 4 is that it comes with these two things. Hear that sound? Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Can you hear that? There you go. It's like a, you know, like, like a gun, gun sound. And what you get here is the physical triggers here. It's not an air trigger, but it's a physical trigger that you can just tap on it to game, which is pretty cool. And something that I would really prefer over capacitive ones, because I feel that when I game and when I tap on these physical buttons, they respond to me way better than air triggers. Now, one thing that's interesting right over here, apart from it being able to map it in games, you can also map it as shortcut buttons. Like for example, if I head on over to the camera software, for instance, um, and if I tap on the right trigger button, it just takes a photo. It 
acts, it acts as a camera shutter button, which I think is pretty great. And of course, you can still customize these buttons if you actually want to. So uh, to customize it, all you need to do is to just, uh, uh, let's say you just pop this back up and you tap on this button. And this is where you can configure on what you want this trigger button to do uh, when you press on it, whenever you're not in a game. Now, in terms of specs, the Blackjack 4 is equipped with a Snapdragon 870 SoC, which by all means is still a really powerful chipset by today's standards, even though it's not the Snapdragon 888. But the 870 is technically an overclocked version of the 865, which still performs really great right now at most game titles on mobile phones. And the storage variant that's coming to Malaysia is either the 8GB RAM plus 120GB storage variant or the 12GB plus 256GB storage variant. So you get two options right there and I would definitely advise that you go for the 12GB plus 256GB storage model because this thing doesn't have any storage expansion at all. So if you're thinking to actually play, uh, save a lot of games, take a lot of pictures, so you definitely would want to consider the largest storage model. So next, we're going to check out this really cool accessory that's launched in conjunction with the Black Shark 4. And this is the new Black Shark Fun Cooler 2 Pro, which to be honest, I was pretty impressed with its predecessor because it has this really cool aircon feeling. Like when you touch the cooling pad, it's totally cold. It's not like those um, uh, cooling fans for smartphones that only just blow air and dissipate heat, but this thing really works. So let's check it out. Okay, so let's take it out of the box, just like this. And you get your USB cable, of course, for powering on the device. This is not battery powered, by the way. So this is how the Black Shark Fun Cooler 2 Pro looks like. So there's a clamp over here that you will collapse it right over your phone. And you will require an, a power bank to power this cooler because it doesn't have batteries right inside. So what we're gonna do here is to use the USB-C port of the Black Shark 4 to power this cooler. So I have my USB-C to C cable here. Let's connect one end to the USB port here. And finally to the Black Shark Farm Cooler 2 Pro. So this is how it looks like. Looks pretty cool. So we have a LED screen right over here that shows the temperature of the cooling device. And this is where your gaming phone starts to get really cool. And by all means, it is sick. Now look at this RGB lighting right over here. It keeps changing colors and so on, which is pretty cool. Like what you should have on a gaming phone. But sadly, this is not configurable by an app or anything. So the RGB colors are just going to cycle around this cooler. And it gets really cold already, it's 15 degrees Celsius. So let's take out this cooler to find out how cold it really is. See, whoa, it's really cold. It's really, really cold right now. I'm really feeling a really cold surface right on this pad over here. So I'm super confident that this will totally cool down your phone as you're gaming on it. So let's do a little bit of gaming test on the Black Shark 4. So as you know, this is an overclocked version of the Snapdragon 865. So you're going to expect really good graphics performance on this phone here. And I have the Black Shark Fun Cooler 2 Pro cooler attached as well to find out how well it cools down the phone. Now, to be honest, this is actually a pretty uh, high requirement game. It's the same developers as Genshin Impact. So you're going to expect some really, really intensive graphics processing on this game. And to be honest, the Black Shark 4 handles this pretty well. Uh, it's pretty smooth as you can see. So this is running on the highest graphics setting uh, with 60 frames per second. So it's actually super smooth right here. And I'm actually liking the touch response on this thing. It's really super smooth. And you know what? Um, this Black Shark Fun Cooler 2 Pro really cools down the entire phone. I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling that the phone doesn't really heat up. It, ju it just gets slightly warmer on the side over here, but the cooler is doing a really great job at cooling down the entire phone. I'm already, already on this game for about uh, 15 minutes already, which most gaming phones would have already heated up. But with this Black Shark Fun Cooler 2 Pro, uh, the phone remains very, very cool. And as you can see, it is cooling at a crazy 13 degrees Celsius, which I have no idea whether that's true or not, but it is what it is. It works and it cools down the phone really well. And finally, let's find out how fast the Black Shark 4 charges over its 120 watt break. So I'm going to insert a USB cable into the phone right now. And this is what's going to happen. So it will show a 120 watt charge screen right over here. You can see how fast the percentage goes. You know, it's basically, well, in less than like five seconds, I'm really hitting like 0.6%. So you're gonna expect this phone to get fully charged 
like let's say zero to 80% in about 15 minutes, that's for sure, because in half a second, I'm already getting 0.5% of juice charged onto this phone. And currently we are at 80%. And if we look at the power bar right here, it is of course not charging at its full charging wattage. It's at a 50.5 watts right now. I think that's kind of okay because it is already at 80%. So it's kind of slowing down the wattage, but if you are at very low battery levels like 10 or 20 percent it will definitely go up to 120 watts so uh charging at 51 51 watts right now for an 80 percent battery level is actually kind of normal so overall the black shot 4 is a pretty decent gaming phone and i like the fact that it has a less flashy design this time with no rgb lighting on the logo and whatever and this will definitely make me feel that i am actually owning a smartphone rather than a flashy gaming phone and I like the fact that there's this uh, physical triggers right over here that I can configure it to run shortcuts or perform some quick actions on my phone. And most importantly, it is not heavy to handle. It's a pretty nice device to hold. I definitely grabs it on my hand with a really good grip. The tapered edges here really makes uh, the entire phone feels very comfortable to handle. And I personally prefer it more than other gaming phones out there. So price-wise, the Black Shot 4 Real Retail from 2,299 ringgit in Malaysia for the base storage variant model and up to 2,799 ringgit, which I think it's worth to pay more for the additional storage because you don't get to expand storage out of this device, which is kind of common with um, most gaming phones out there because you definitely want the fastest storage performance. So that's all for my thoughts and first impressions on the Black Shot 4 gaming phone. And I'll be sharing more of my thoughts on this thing in the final review. So do stay tuned for that coming right up on the channel. So make sure you stay subscribed or get subscribed to our channel and follow us on the usual social media channels so that you don't miss out the Black Shot 4 full review. I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV and I will see you in our next video.